Hello, welcome to Football 360, a very special edition. We're coming to you from Challenge Stadium for the annual Men's and Women's Most Glorious Player Award. But Monica, as we know, it's not just about silverware and trophies and awards, is it? That's right, Peter. It's about the wives and girlfriends of the players. It's their night to shine. And we also speak to the audience to find out who their hot tip is for the most glorious player. Boys, quick tip, who's going to get most glorious player? Scotty Jamison, our left back, has been very good this year. Or Stephen McGarry in centre midfield, he's been he's been very good, so they're my tip. I think personally, maybe Jamison, Rizzo or Liam Miller. My favourite's Danny Vukovic. I think he could get up there and get it, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I think he's got a good chance. Scotty Jamison's in a good show. I think uh, Danny Bukovic. I reckon that Scott James has probably been the most consistent. He's been a good, good get for the glory. I'd like to say Josh Risden, who's just down there looking at me, and uh, Stephen McGarry. Scott Jamison's had a fantastic year and uh, he deserves to win it. Risden. Why? Because he was the best player. Stevie's pretty much sent it up from the uh, conversations I had, um, and especially when he told me about his acceptance speech, I think he's pretty certain he's got it, to be honest with you. I think it's here, isn't it? Yes, a very action-packed, colourful and exciting show coming up on Football 360. Still to come, the Match of the Week highlights in the Cool Ridge Cup between Balcatta and Armadale, and we unearth another junior rising star. But first, we catch up with former Socceroo and glory great Stan Lazaridis for another memorable moment. Stan Lazaridis and you're on Football 360. I've got a little story to tell you guys. I'm playing Coventry at Highfield Road. I was playing for West Ham at the time and I happened to be on the bench this, uh, this particular game and uh, we're one nil down. So hey Redknapp's give me the, uh, the look. He said, right Lazar, you're coming on. So as I was coming, ready to come on, we just had a slight injury. Paul Kitson has got elbowed in the head and he's slightly concussed. So as I'm ready to come on, I'm sitting on the sidelines. Physio's run on, it's gone up to Paul Kitson. And at that time, they just had these walkie-talkie things that they've got. So Harry Redknapp's listening to, um, to, his, to the physio. He's going, John, 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 what's happening out there? Is he OK? And John goes, Harry, he doesn't quite know who he is at the moment. All right, then, when he wakes up, tell him he's Palais and score me a goal. Stan, you're coming on. My pleasure to announce both the uh, players player and the most glorious player for the uh, Perth Glory W League, it's Ivy Luke. Ivy Luke, you've just been crowned the W League most glorious player. How does that make you feel? I feel very proud. You know, we had a great group of girls, all very talented. You know, I played with Clem McCollum in the middle before and I played with Katie Gill and Lisa Devano just with the national team. But um, there were some youngsters that I hadn't known before like Mariana Tabane, who's off of the uh, Aussie camp right now, and she blew my mind um, off that left side. Just really skillful player, quick, loves to take players on. And also uh, Carly from England, our keeper, she was great. Sasha, who I'd played with before, but just all over the pitch, we had a lot of quality, so it was a great team to be involved with. Hi, I'm Leon Nagai from Pascori. You are watching Football 360. Cecilia, welcome. They say behind every good guy there is a great woman, and I hear you are a great woman. Tell us what's it like being married to Jacob Ben? Um, he's a wonderful guy, beautiful father, very handsome, very lucky to have him. <laughs> Now, there's been a few comments made about uh, Jacob's fashion sense and the fact that he is at the forefront of fashion. Do you have something to play in that? Um, I'd like to say yes, but actually, no. He is a huge shopper, worse than me, much worse than me, and uh, 
He's definitely up with everything, yeah, he reads his mags and... You're meant to say I just throw this all together yeah, in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. I don't read any magazines, it just comes together. Is there any sort of um, pre-game rituals that you have to abide by? He's very quiet on match days, he doesn't talk a lot, so we pretty much just leave him alone. I know him too well enough to know, don't say a lot, he doesn't say a lot on match days, he's very quiet. Is there any quirky little superstitious things that he does on match day? Like, what's the routine at your house? He makes us get out of the house. <laughs> I take the kids. <laughs> no, um, he likes to have a lie-in. Um, he eats crumpets for breakfast. <laughs> he has his socks down. He doesn't pull his socks up. And he... I'm always getting told to pull my socks up. Well, he does like to wear the same shirt. He's very particular about his routine. Uh, we all know, even the kids, we all leave him alone before the game. No one talks to him. And especially after the game, it's very different if it's win or lose. We either all go to our rooms if it's a loss. If it's a win, we come home all happy. But if we just leave him alone for at least a few hours if we've lost. But, yeah, definitely the lead-up is, you know, he likes his shirt, he likes his quiet time, and then he gets going and he's got his little routine. He's like a player. Healthway and Football West have teamed up to find the Smarter Than Smoking Junior Player of the Month. Whether you're the star of your team or you just love to have fun with football, you can be in the running to win an Apple iPad. Each week, I'll be asking a simple question and the answer will be revealed later in the show. Check out footballwest.com.au for details and tune in to our new Football 360 Junior Show to see if you've won our fantastic prize. This week's Smarter Than Smoking Junior Player of the Month question is... What is the addictive drug in tobacco? To be in the running for an Apple iPad, check out footballwest.com.au and stay tuned to Football 360. Well, it's time to take a short break from all the action here. Time now to take a look at the Match of the Week highlights between Balcata and Armadale in the annual Coolridge Cup. It was a makeshift Armadale who travelled to Grindleford Reserve to take on last year's Cup finalist, Balcatta. Armadale coach Lee Bamber had almost 12 players unavailable, including his Trump signing, Andy Todd. But the Southerners seemed unfazed and took up the challenge. Jack Salter emerged as the hero in the 20th minute when he scored what really was the first chance of the game. Balcatta failed to clear a free kick and Salter sent the ball home past goalkeeper Alex Dunn. Balcatta seemed to wake up after that goal, but the home side never really tested Armadale keeper Ellis Hawksworth. It was more of the same in the second half until the last 10 minutes when Balcatta created their first clear chance of the game. Substitute Mo Attack was played through with an exquisite pass, but his goal bound volley took a deflection. In the last five minutes, Hawksworth kept his team in the lead with this block. But Balcatta didn't give up and almost snatched an equaliser in the last minute of injury time. But Armadale was resolute in defence with a goal line clearance with what was virtually the last kick of the game. Joy for Armadale, Balcatta knocked out of the cup after round one. Well, the fact that we only had a nervy last five minutes is, is, shows how well they played today. I think uh, it was only the last five minutes, that's when they, they only had their real clear cut chances. And so, yeah, for 85 minutes, Somewhere down the line, they've got, to, they've got to have a good five minutes and it was in the last five, but so yeah, I thought we, we were magnificent today. Today we, we dominated the, the possession, uh, we had the better of the chances, but we didn't take any away. They took their, their chance that they had for the game and, and um, they're through. That's cup football. In other Cool Ridge Cup results, former Perth Glory player Tommy Amphlett was a hero for Joondalup, scoring two in ECU's 3-1 win over Perth. It was a feast of penalties at Macedonia Park. Five in all, Sterling edged out Bunbury after extra time. Revenge for Floriot, they recorded their first win of the season against Coburn, who inflicted a 5-0 drubbing only a fortnight ago. So next week, as regular league action returns, it's a night series final rematch as Coburn hosts Bayswater. Floriot should get three points against NTC. Joondalup face off against Balcatta. Perth will be hoping not to drop points against United. 
Another gritty battle looms between Stirling and Armadale. And could Bunbury cause an upset when Sorrento travel to the southwest? Highlights and results, as always, on Football 360 next week. I started when I was six and I haven't stopped since. Al Ferdinand from Manchester United is my favourite. He's just a good leader and he never stops working. It's just fun, no matter what, like, meet a lot of new people, really challenging, you just get to push yourself. Um, I play centre back, I can also play on the wing. Uh, my dream is to play for Australia and I like to represent my country nationally. Uh, we all just run up and congratulate each other and high five and squeal a bit sometimes. Without further ado, I'll pass on to um, our chairman, Tony, and he'll announce the winner of the, the MGP award. It's the guy with the big ears, Stephen McGarry. Well, you've just seen him come off stage collecting his big prize, big trophy. Stephen McGarry, congratulations, Steve. I tipped it. Your dad, you told us at the beginning of the night, yeah. You had me fancying of uh, picking up the MGP, so yeah, it's a it's a magnificent honour. Uh, some some fantastic players who have uh, won it before me, and I'm sure there's some going to be some fantastic players after me. So, but yeah, it's been a, a nice uh, finish to the season for myself. From here on, Steve, where do you see yourself? Do you hope to be here uh, next year for 2013-14 season? Is, is Perth your home for the foreseeable future? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, myself and the club are still in talk, so. Hopefully we should sort something out in the next couple of days. Um, my family have been here for um, three years. It's been a magnificent time we've had here. The, the Perth people have taken to us. I've taken to people of Perth. I've got a great rapport with the fans. And yeah, I, I started to, to, to love the, the city and love the club. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can be here next season. Even after football, I'd love to, to settle down in Perth. Well, that wraps up another busy, colourful and exciting episode of Football 360. Monica, have you had fun? It's been an absolute ball. In fact, I have loved catching up with the Perth Glory players and seeing all the glitz and glamour on the red carpet. And Steve McGarry and Ivy Lewick, both at the end of it, really worthy winners. Absolutely worthy winners. I'm very happy with the choices this year. Fantastic. Thanks for keeping me company thank tonight. You, and thank you for your support and hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again next week. Until then, it's bye for now.